Professor Liu is going to show you how to find the exe file. All right, so continue from our first project. Our first project, and we um, have a label box. We put a label box, and inside the label box, we put in the text, label box text, we put our name right there. Okay, so now we're going to run it. All right, so you are going to run it. You click on build. If you build it, if you run this program the second time, you use rebuild. All right, and when you see one succeeded, zero fail, zero skip, then you can continue. Otherwise, you need debug. Star, I want you to choose star without debugging. So that will be your exe file. You can also use a shortcut key, but the shortcut key doesn't have star without debugging. So you will have a debug. It takes slower, and you have a, a bunch of the debugging thing pop up. Okay? So it might be uh, uh, weird for you. So you want to use a <coughs> build and start debug without debugging. So now it's the time to find out my exe file. I want you to click on the window key, go to File Explorer, and go to this PC, and go to C drive. We are going to use the default folder, okay? Default folder is you look for user, and next will be hard drive. You know, each PC is a hard drive. Uh, in the college will be your uh, student station, like uh, CIT 111, student 02, student 12. Here will be my hard drive name. Then I want to look for source and repo. Then I want to look for this file I was called Shin's first solution. So I open it up. And I'm going to open the project. So I open the solution. Now I open the project. Inside the project, there's a folder called bin. So I open the bin folder. And I open the debug. And the first one is your exe file. If you did not see the exe, you go to view and you check file name extension and hidden item. You select both. Then you are able to see this. Then run this one right now. That's your exe file. I hope uh, this video is helpful.